Hey what's up guys, Grim here, and today I have an After Effects tutorial for you guys, and I really haven't done one in a long time, so I thought I'd do it, um, because uh, I guess I just kind of needed to do one, <laughs> so, because really all I've been posting is my Minecraft Let's Play, which I'm posting another one tomorrow morning, so yeah. Uh, so today we're going to be learning how to do this. It's just kind of like a realistic... Uh, zooming lens blur onto a uh, cinematic or a clip. I've never actually seen one use it on a clip. I've just seen it on cinematics. So let's just get right into After Effects spaces. Yay. Um, <laughs> yeah. So let's just make a new composition and let's just drag. Let's just make a new composition called Havana Cinematic 2. Okay. So let's try and preview it here. Got our little cinematic here. So now we're going to press S on the keyboard and we're going to find where we kind of want it to zoom in. Press the keyframe and then just move along a little bit and zoom it in like that. We're going to preview it again. We'll see we have our zoom. And I'm going to bring it a little bit closer and I'm going to highlight both keyframes, right click them, go to keyframe assistant and click easy ease. And that'll just make it look a lot nicer, in my opinion. It'll kind of, it kind of won't be as sudden. It'll more be like smooth. So I just move my hand as if you guys can see me. Uh, so now that we have that, we're gonna go into our effects and presets tab. And if you don't have that, just go to Window, Effects and Presets, or Command or Control Five, and type in Lens Blur. And this is After Effects CS5. Um, I think for After Effects CS4, it's like camera lens blur or something. I am actually not that sure. So just drag it onto our clip, and you'll see it gets a little blurry there. So that's what we want, actually, so, obviously. So now we're going to go click this and click Shift, U, and then or if it's already there, and then click the arrow on effects, click the arrow on lens blur and keyframe iris radius and then move along a little bit until about there on our clip where the two keyframes are and click the keyframe again okay so now we'll see where we have our keyframes move a couple frames before it and move this down to zero and do the same thing for this one but after it Okay, and then highlight all these ones and right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. So now let's watch our clip from the beginning. I think that looks pretty nice. So, yeah, I like that. So that was just basically all the tutorial. Um, just render it out, maybe add, let's just add a little bit of color correction, just uh, to make it look a little nicer. Um, let's go. That looks okay. Actually, I don't really like that. Let's add. Oh, that was pretty nice. Just, um, yeah. I'm not going to tone it down, even though I normally would if I was editing it. But yeah, that's uh, what we have for now. So I'll put the uh, finished product at the end of the video. And please, leave me some, some uh, suggestions for future tutorials, because I'm kind of running out of ideas here. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And leave me some suggestions. Uh, please comment, like, and favorite the video. And don't be afraid to subscribe. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.